everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty and skincare if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you and if you are already thank you today's video is gonna be a skincare brand review we're gonna be talking all about you to the people I have four of their products here to go over so let's get right into it a little about use to the people if you're not already familiar with the brand they are a clean brand they're vegan and cruelty free of course they're sold at Sephora online on their own site so I think they're pretty accessible as a brand like I said in the intro I do have four products here to go over with you I'm gonna start off with their facial oil which is this bad boy right here this first product is their super berry hydrate and glow oil it has maki asi prickly pear goji berry really great ingredients in here this is the product I've had the longest I'm almost out of this bottle I do have a backup though so to start off I would say the thing that stands out the most to me about this oil is just how lightweight it is if you don't like oils or like an oily feeling on your face or want an oil that you need before makeup this one is absolutely beautiful definitely the most lightweight oil that I own also the smell is just delicious I don't notice like any crazy skin benefits with this oil but it does sink in beautifully it works really nice as a makeup primer you could even mix this in with your foundation I use this at night as well just a really good all-around lightweight oil if you're not an oil person or you just want a good versatile oil yeah that's it <laughs> The next product I want to talk about is their Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. The lid on mine is broken, rest in peace to that lid. But this cream I've been using for quite a while now. I feel like I just want to smell everything. Huh. The texture of it is so beautiful. They describe it as a gel cream, which I definitely agree with. It's definitely not like a complete gel, it has more of a creamy texture to it. But it's just the most hydrating cream it's so luxurious to put on this works beautifully under makeup as well you could even mix this in with the oil and just apply it and oh my gosh your skin will drink it right up this is definitely one of my favorite products out of all of these i think it's just such a beautiful cream the texture is just unbelievable this has hyaluronic acid so it's really hydrating in the skin also has that superfood blend it has kale spinach green tea it's gonna give your skin a lot of nutrients and a good amount of hydration I wouldn't just use this in the winter on my skin because I feel like I need a little bit more of a thicker cream this would be the perfect summer cream or if you don't like heavier creams this would be an amazing one to try out really love this I think it's an amazing cream it's unlike anything I've ever tried and it's just my skin loves it The next product I have here is their newest cream that they came out with, which is their Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream Ashwagandha Reishi Pentapeptide. This mm, 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 is good. This one, a little bit more of an earthy smell compared to the Hyaluronic Acid Cream. Definitely a thicker texture. This is like my go-to winter cream right now. I've been using it day and night. Love it. It's really thick and nourishing, but it sinks in beautifully and it doesn't really leave any sort of like oily residue or heaviness to the skin, which is one of my favorite things about it. It does have those pentapeptides in it, so it's really soothing on your skin for any irritation. Also has adaptogens in it like reishi, ashwagandha. Has a couple other ingredients that are really good at calming your skin down if you have sensitive skin. Or just for me, I feel like it's a really good winter product because my skin gets a lot of you know cold air a lot of elements are affecting it so I think this is a really great cream if you have drier skin I would definitely go with the adaptogen deep moisture cream but if you're more on the oily side and don't like a heavier cream I would go with the hyaluronic acid one both are really great I love having both on hand sometimes I'll use this one during the day with the oil and then this one at night or I'll just switch between the two I think they're really great these formulas are incredible they're definitely some of my favorite creams
is a stink bug. Last but not least, we have their newest release, which is the little sister to the Superberry Oil. It's the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This has the same sort of ingredients as the oil. It has maquis, vitamin C, squalene, hyaluronic acid, all those really cool superfoods. The color of this is just so luscious. It smells somehow even better than the oil. Oh my gosh. I wish I could get you guys to smell this right now because it's just incredible. I haven't used this a ton, so I don't really have a fully developed opinion on it, but the couple times I have used it, I have really enjoyed it. This is the perfect product if you're like me and sometimes you get home, you kind of just want to take off your makeup and you just don't have the energy to do like a whole skincare routine. You can literally just wash your face and they suggest that you use this on just bare cleansed skin so you could wash your makeup off and then put this on and literally go to bed and you'll wake up. I find that my skin looks really glowy and healthy when I use this. I also layer this on top of other products. I think it works well. It doesn't pill. Really nice texture. It's kind of like the creams where it sinks into your skin immediately doesn't leave any sort of residue i feel like it doesn't wipe off on my pillow either which i really enjoy i feel like it doesn't waste the product and it's just a really like nice experience is what i would describe this mask as i don't think it's an absolute necessity in your skincare routine if you're just starting out if you want a basic routine but it's really nice it has that vitamin c in it as well if you need some brightening i think it's a good addition to someone who's like a skincare collector i would try this out like I said, definitely not necessary. So those were all the products I wanted to talk about. They do carry some other products. They have a cleanser, which I've heard really good things about. They have an eye cream, and then they also have like a hyaluronic acid serum. Haven't tried those, but if you guys have tried anything from Use of the People, let me know what you think below. But if I had to choose one thing, if you wanna like dive into the brand and just want one product, that's really hard because I would say it depends on your skin type. But I think the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream would work for anybody. Dry, oily, combo, sensitive skin. I think it's a really nice cream and really versatile. So I would say this one. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Kind of a shorter one, but I just wanted to do a little brand overview of Youth of the People. Because I get a lot of questions about what my favorites are and what I think of the products. And I think they're a really great brand. They are available at Sephora, Sephora Online, probably some other places. I'll put links in the description if you guys are interested in the products. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below. If you've tried any Use of the People products, let me know. Or let me know what skincare brand you want to see me do a little overview of next. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Almost forgot that. Ding.